Hi, my name is Uriel Morales from Excel Gurus, and this is the user guide to our HR management system in Excel. Now, basically, we have the employee management. When you go to the employee management, you have the option to add new employee. Now, you can upload the image of the employee, you can add new employee, and you can update an existing employee. Now you can also search the database. Once you search the database, you can select the employee of your choice. Now, if you want to add an employee with an ID number already in the system, it's going to tell you that the ID number exists either as an ex staff or a current staff. Now, when you put a number that relates to ex staff, it's going to tell you that that ID number belongs to an ex staff now you can enter all of the information in the employee card now we also have the asset management when you go to the asset management you can search and once you select an employee you can exit that employee the employee will leave the current management and goes to the ex staff management you can also search for the employee that you want to exit now, we also have the disciplinary management, which is the disciplinary module. When you go to the disciplinary, all you need to do, you put the ID number of the employee with the disciplinary action. You select, we have drop down, we have uh, suspension, we're going to take suspension and you can select the date. You click on add. Once you say add, it goes into the database and you can have the list box with the information. Now, we also have the leave management. In the leave management, you have the option to set up your own leave information. Now, this has to do with employees service with your institution in days. Now, you can select the number of days and you can also add the leave that the employee, the leave days that the employee and you can add that to the setup now when that is done when you are done with the setting it's going to take effect in the template now you can enter you can add the information of the employee you can add the leave information of the employee once you put in the information you click on add it goes into the database now the second thing that you want to do is the payroll management which is the payroll module now this payroll module we can also customize this to your country because every country has different treatment different tasks or uh, calculation now in a payroll module you can process once you click on process all of the ex staff will be removed from your payroll now when you do that you can also send the pay slip to all of the employees once you click on send pay slip all of the pay slip is going to go to the employees the pay slip is going to be converted to pdf and then sent to the employees now the last module that we have is the report is our report we have all of the reports we have all of the reports now this is one of the reports now we have the payroll report so you're going to see your payroll information and you are going to if you want to print print out you can print out so this is the payroll report now you can also generate the employees listing you can generate the employees listing you are going to see all of the employees that you have you can also generate the ex staff listing you're going to see the ex staff information that you have you can generate the report then we, we also have the disciplinary action report you generate the disciplinary action you can see all of the information concerning staff that have disciplinary action now we also have the annual leave report the annual leave report is going to give you information concerning the status the leave status and finally we have the report for this absent so you generate that report you're going to see all of your staff and the days absent thanks for watching